It is time guys for me to talk about the new GBD-S1000 G-Squad Series G-Shark running or training watch made for professional or to those who are just looking for an excuse to put another G-Shark in their collections like me and most people watching this video right now. Basically, in my case, I just wear this watch to replace my GBX100 and that is all. I didn't even use it to full potential yet which I plan to do soon but right now just as a daily driver same way most people who bought this watch will use it for okay uh, a quick introduction again it has five sensors GPS and solar assist so that's the big highlights for this model aside from the great IMIP display starting with the first sensor called the pedometer or step tracking sensor here it is in my case my step tracking progress for the past week I've been wearing this for over a week really the unboxing video I made was filmed on 4th of July today is already like 21st of July so almost two weeks time great I managed to achieve my 8000 daily steps wearing this G-Shark watch something is really hard to do if you were wearing the previous G-Squad series and that is because the sensor is much more sensitive too sensitive to a point that it will detect steps even while you're brushing your teeth while you're showering while you're doing your dishes you could clean the house doing house chores it will detect all of that as steps with that said I have a feeling you could use this watch for dancing kickboxing swimming bicycling any activities that involve you know um, repetitive motions like that so it is gonna be very useful for daily wear and I haven't goes to the heart rate sensor yet let's do that um, press this mode button once you know what let's go back press this run button and enter the GPS or training mode once you press this this watch will receive uh, will connect to GPS three different satellite instead of one unlike the previous arrangement which is much more accurate this time being GPS GLONASS and Japan owned satellite called Michibiki which was launched two years back unlike most smartwatches that will connect to Galileo this watch connect to Michibiki which is really cool for a Japan made brand it connect to Japan owned satellite so there's something different there and I guess that's the reason why this watch will cost 100 bucks more expensive in the Japan market in comparison to the US in the US market this watch will cost you $399 in Japan it will cost you $55,000 Japanese yen so I picked this up at the same price one basically around 500 bucks really including shippings using Baidu.jp which is the sponsor for today's video you don't have to pay the same amount of price I did you could wait until the price drop especially in US market so check the link down in the description box sign up and uh, once the price drop you could pick yours at a much cheaper price than I did and most people on the market really and if this is your first purchase you also earn 1000 yen discount as well so there's that you don't have to wait for this watch to receive the GPS signal you could skip this part and begin with the watch setting there are so many things that you could set within this watch really starting with the GPS if you don't use the GPS for example you're only uh, running on the treadmill uh, static workout just turn it off to save the battery or you could check the run face setting which one you want to see first you could check alert for notifications alert distance display if you want to do that you could also set auto lap or auto pause let's go back next mode will bring you into the heart rate here is my favorite display basically the watch will shows me change in heart rate for the past 30 minutes as I'm doing my workout which is really cool and fun things to use you could configure this as well by pressing this adjust button on top and you could set the heart rate to turn on while you're running only or turn it off if you don't need that information or if you want to conserve battery or set it up to turn on all the time in every mode in every situations every single day every single hours that will definitely consume battery and at the same time make this glass incredibly hot that it will irritate your skin so I would recommend you to only turn it on while you're running only or else it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable you can also set uh, notifications for a specific target heart rate or target heart rate itself zone 1 2 3 4 5 within the watch itself and then use it you could change the display to show your heart rate current heart rate versus your target heart rate as well with timekeeping this is my pace if you are running and then it will calculate the pace over here and show you guys alongside your heart rate data which is really convenient in my opinion next mode brings you into the sensor part so if you are trailing you could use this compass with the reading heart rate data and timekeeping as well 
you could change this display to altimeter changing elevation heart rate data and timekeeping as well the same goes with the barometer part you could check the temperature change in atmospheric pressure for weather predictions your heart rate and timekeeping all in the same display which is so cool in my opinion next mode is elevation navigation so this is something that you could use only if you pair this watch to your phone because you're gonna need to set up a specific point plotting a route for your activities and then it will tell you the elevations and for that specific routes how far are you from that specific point and that is important and really useful as well and that is all that you could do in the running or training mode all you need is press start if you want to start with your routines your activity your running your tracking whatsoever stop oh this is lap sorry press stop and it will ask you to continue save or delete in my case let's just delete this over here gonna take a while so while well, edit let's remove this and let me show you guys how the heart rate sensor look like which is really cool design a simple one that could solve a lot of problems that most smartwatch has check this out this sensor was built to be protruding outwards like that so that when you wear this watch it will bear it on your skin and it will leave a mark for sure like that it is so obvious but this is okay because each time you're working out your hand will consistently moving like that having a sensor that is buried on your skin will give you accurate heart rate reading at least as consistently as it could be and it has this glass cover over here i guess this is uh, mineral crystal probably this thing could get hot if you leave the heart rate on all the time could be a little discomfort but so far even this docking that is being exposed like that isn't a bother to me at all barely able to feel that at all this is to charge the watch with a special cable that it came with as well gonna take about three to four hours to fully charge but then again it also have a solar charging around the MIP display which is already good enough in my opinion not as useful though but it is there so could be good enough okay now let's talk about other function that this model have pressing this display will change to other well this is the display which i already showed before right next display is my status telling me that i'm being unproductive because my vo2 max is lower than the previously recorded data so that's why it's telling me that and it suggests a recovery time of 19 hours and 29 minutes next display is a monthly step tracking progress data this is heart rate alongside with timekeeping this part will only lights up if you turn the heart rate on all the time in the running mode just now in my case i'll leave it also this part is pretty much useless to me next is dual time display so nothing new here and timekeeping just the essentials dated and time if you just use this watch if you buy the watch just for timekeeping and you don't use the gps if you don't use the heart rate sensor it could last you for one year straight and there is something that most smart watch in the market cannot do this what i think next is heart rate mode similar to again except instead of 30 minutes you now have 24 hour change of heart rate data or you could just check your heart rate manually like that next is your workout timer this is pretty much similar like the one on the gbx and the gbd 100 g shaft watch so nothing new here next is a stopwatch i'm currently timing something right now if you want to know what i'm timing or what i'm working on at a side project become a patreon link will be available down in the description box there you could access some of the behind the scene thing that i post over there not as often but i'll share most of the important ones at least next is sensor similar to again you have the barometer thermometer your compass and altimeter but notice that the heart rate is being turned off because i didn't turn it on next mode is activity tracking i registering already 19 things in here but most of them are just driving data these are not for um, navigations i just used this watch while i was driving just for the fun of it because it indeed could detect a really precise route of your drive that's cool in my opinion next is training status similar thing again like the display just now except a dedicated mode just for that telling me that i'm being unproductive the fitness is going down even though the load is going up and my vo2 max a level over here and recovery time next mode is notification which is the last one i use this a lot because it didn't consume battery and i found it to be very convenient since i have this i don't have to buy another gear for that and i don't have to stare at my phone all the time especially when i'm working with my hands you know you can't just touch your phone with all the dirt so having a watch that could do that you could just press the button but the problem is that oh here's my cat been a while since she got here anyway the problem is that each time a notification comes into my phone it will uh, send to the watch including this gbx model as well so i found it to be a bit inconvenience a bit annoying as well because i'm wearing this not this but this watch will still receive that notifications but 
I guess this is not a permanent thing because Cast could easily update the watch and including the app as well. So this is not permanent, I hope. This is the G-Shock Move app, a quite uh, lagging app sometimes. I still haven't got used to all the interface just yet. And uh, so far so good, it works very well. But like I said, the watch could work independently without the helps of the apps, except for the notifications and the navigation just now. But pretty much everything else is on the watch itself. So if you don't like the app, for some reason the, your phone is dead or you cannot pair the watch to your phone or anything like that, that's okay the watch could show you all the informations already even though having the app which would be a lot more convenient you know you could check all the map how accurate the data is and a lot of other things basically watch set up or just send all the data to strava or google fit or apple health if you use those Okay, now that will summarize all the things that I could share about this GBTH 1000 so far. I'll make a separate video to explain more and more. And if you'd like to know something in specific, comment down below. I'll probably test them out and make a separate video just for that.